Okay, some of you may be wondering what exactly am I talking about, player or payer? Okay, let's 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 get a few things straight here because this subject is uh, gets kind of gets kind of touchy for certain people. Um, because there are certain schools out there and certain people out there that tell you don't don't spend your money on these hoes, don't spend your money on these bitches, and blah 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 and blah blah blah. You know, you ain't spending money on no this and that. Okay, let's look at this realistically. Now, um, if you're going out on a date, um, you know, and this gets into a whole another video altogether. But I don't know if you're if you're paying. You know, if you're going to meet somebody out on the first date or whatever, you want to meet for coffee or, you know, whatever. You're just going out and casually doing, you, you know, you may want to go someplace, you know. So if you're spending, you know, I don't know, let's 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 just say 50 bucks for an even number. You know, some of you women out there, oh, 50 bucks, that's it, that's all you're spending on me? Yeah, for a fucking first date, I'd do shit to meet you somewhere. The fuck are you to be asking me for some fucking money, but... That's that's a whole separate thing now. But my point is, you don't have to be a cheap ass. Now, if you're a millionaire and if you, you know, and if you really want to take somebody out to a nice dinner, then fuck it, go ahead and do it. That's not what this is about. So I guess I would just say that use your own discretion, but don't put yourself out of a whole bunch of money or 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 perpetrate like you got way more money than you have. That's that's a whole nother video altogether. But player or payer. Um, there years ago there was this uh, TV show, and um, I think it was uh, it was a little reality show on these dudes that started this casino, and I think it was uh, the Green Valley Ranch or whatever casino, and um, and you know they were following different patrons around on episodes, and at the time I was kind of obsessed with moving to Las Vegas, um, so anyway I watched the reality show because I usually don't watch reality TV, but uh, there was this big, 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 huge motherfucker sitting there. Um, being loud and obnoxious and there were women all around them and you know how they kind of cut away and they kind of interview the person while they're doing their thing you know how they do on all reality shows and they give their own little commentary and the guy was like yeah yeah you know hey i got all the money you know what i'm saying hey if you want the chicks you know what i'm saying i dropped the money and you know all the rest of these guys whatever ha 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 i got the money and that means that i got the chicks and i'm thinking to myself yeah you big fat walrus looking motherfucker i guess so you look like you just got through eating about 60,000 pounds of catfish, it's your fucking fat ass. I guess you do need a gang of money. That's a payer. If, uh, or should I say it like this? Not if. Do you get women or does your shit get women? Do you get women or does your bank account get women? Do you get women or does your car get women? Do you get women or do your clothes, your shoes, your jewelry? Is that what gets the women for you? If you didn't have any of that and you were just standing there, if you were standing at a bus stop, could you actually get the women that you're getting? That's the difference between a player and a payer. See, a player has game. And you don't give a fuck if he's standing, next to him, standing on the bus stop or on the train or on the subway or you know whatever and I brought up something else and I, I brought up this with a friend of mine cause I you know I started saying about you know like riding the bus he's like man you riding the bus man you can't be telling no females like that and at the time I was living in Chicago so everybody rides the bus I'm like why the fuck wouldn't I say that everybody rides the bus in Chicago oh I don't know man I wouldn't be saying I don't give a fuck if you not trying to holler at me because you're riding the uh, you see me on a bus shit there are doctors and lawyers on the bus and on the train you know nobody want to drive <clears throat> so anyway that's my big important question are you a player or are you a payer just something to think about you don't have to answer it but i mean you know if you and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with wanting nice shit for yourself but if you're trying to get that shit so that because you think it's just going to make talking to women a little bit easier for you then you're a payer then you need to work on your game a little bit you know if you, if you got to roll outside with a bunch of jewelry and diamonds and, and rims and you listen to these fucking idiot rappers out here that's talking about all that shit, you know, and you're buying into it, you know, then then you're a, then you're a payer and not a player. And uh, you definitely need to work on the game there. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with having nice shit and there's nothing wrong with, you know, if that's 
you want to do, that's what you want to do. But when you start to paying for it, you start flashing your money and talking about you popping bottles and trying to, you know, do some shit. And, and here's the other part of that. <clears throat> um, and I also hear like dudes that are got a decent job. You know what I'm saying? I got a got a decent job, and like, oh, um, she's a gold digger or. Man, no, I ain't, I ain't trying to hang with no gold diggers. Let me tell you something. Unless you're a millionaire, you don't fucking know any gold diggers. Trust me. I know some real gold diggers. And they are not talking to you. Really, they're not. And the women that you think are gold diggers, they're really not. They're not even on the that level of, you know, taking motherfuckers for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. Because see, real gold diggers, they, they get their grips into some shit and be married to a fucking millionaire just because he you know what I'm saying got money so trust me you know unless you unless you're a millionaire you you don't really know any gold diggers believe me you don't you know what I'm saying unless they're not trying to get with you they're not even going to talk to you they might not talk to you and just say hey how you doing you know that's a very nice cardigan you're wearing you know they may say some shit like that but they ain't fucking trying to get with you so you know even dudes out there with a little bit of money relax you you, you don't really deal with any gold diggers trust me you don't um, so, yeah, remember, be a player, not a payer, and that's one to grow on.